Dear friends in Christ, peace be with you. I'm pleased to announce after consultation with medical experts, government and community leaders, in accord with Governor Kelly's most recent executive order, that with the recommended social distancing and other health precautions, the celebration of public masses in the Archdiocese of Kansas City and Kansas may resume on May 9th. Please note that I said may resume. Governor Kelly's executive order permits county governments to require greater limitations than the state requires. Several counties at this time have more stringent requirements than the state of Kansas. Each pastor must also make a determination when his parish will be able to meet the archdiocesan safety protocols for the public celebration of Mass during this time of pandemic. The pastor will have to consider his own age and risk factors and whether it is prudent for him to offer Mass at this time. I encourage you to consult your parish website to ascertain if and when your parish will resume public celebration of Mass. I also want to emphasize that the current pandemic is far from over. Medical experts caution us that this health crisis remains a very serious threat to the lives of many people. I urge all those in high-risk population and others who may have concerns about risk of participating in any public gathering not to come to Mass. In March, I granted a general dispensation removing the obligation to attend the Sunday celebration of Mass. This dispensation continues indefinitely during the public health crisis. Please do not place yourself at risk of infection or experiencing a high level of anxiety by attending Mass once they resume at your parish. I also make an urgent appeal to all Catholics, use extraordinary caution and good judgment in determining if you should attend Mass. Please err on the side of caution. Be assured there is no sin committed if you and your family choose not to attend Mass. I have asked parishes, if possible, to continue to live stream Masses for those who are unable to attend. Those who do choose to participate in the public celebration of Mass, I ask that you read and study the safety protocols for participation in Mass and the reception of Holy Communion that you can find on the Archdiocesan or your parish website. These protocols will remain in effect at least until May 20th when they'll be reviewed and adjusted as needed. Again, please read the protocols carefully in order to allow for the necessary social distancing, the number of people able to attend Mass will be significantly reduced. The number of participants will vary from parish to parish based on the size of the church. Pastors will determine how this will best be handled at each parish. Especially for our larger parish communities, it may be necessary to register for a particular Mass in advance to make certain that adequate space is available for you and your family. Please check your parish website to determine how this challenge is being addressed at your parish. The use of face masks or other face coverings, hand sanitizers, and other safety measures can be found in the protocols. It is essential that you are willing to follow these protocols. Please pay close attention to the important requirements for the distribution and reception of Holy Communion. These protocols must be observed without exception. Please follow them to protect the safety of others and in order not to jeopardize the ability of your parish to continue to offer public celebrations of the Eucharist. Thank you for your patience and perseverance over the past several weeks. I realize this has been a very challenging time for you and for our priest. I assure you the decision to suspend public celebration of Masses in the Archdiocese was done to protect the health and safety of parishioners as well as the larger community. 
emerging from the public health crisis will be gradual, involving a series of steps before parish life and community life will return to normal. I am grateful that with the necessary limitations and prudent precautions, we are able to begin to offer again public masses and the opportunity to receive Holy Communion. Thank you for your love for our Lord and for his real presence in the Eucharist. May the risen Lord bless you with the hope and peace of Easter. Thanks and God bless.